Awesome.
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to raise, raise, raise the $50,000 question. Where, where are you, you going to get the money? Where are you going to get the money, and are you willing to vote for a tax increase in order to get the money to put people in the fire station? And are we willing to take a hard look? That's the answer. Is, the answer I'm asking is, no, I'm not willing to vote for a tax increase, and I'll go ahead and do that. I am willing to dig deep into that budget to find areas that we might have to, to cut. I'm, I'm willing to support on I'm going to focus tax increase in these economic times. What I, what I consider to be a true need for this county, at the end of the day, it's about need and, and, and safety, just to be honest with you. Uh, a lot of citizens don't know it. we only got one fully staffed uh, fire station in, in Lowes County, uh, on the corporate area, until their house catch on fire. And then at that point in time, it's, it's not time. Like right? I said, I was standing outside. Being as, uh, you could throw a rock to the volunteer station, not good, not good. It's great, but I mean, the house burned down. I mean, we lost a lot of value in this house. And, and I value the, uh, the staff that came from the good afternoon. You know, um, it's just the fact that we have an opportunity to possibly, you know, use the damage that you know, for it. I think we're having two different conversations, Commissioner Marshall. I think one conversation we're having is would we like to have fully staffed fire stations in more places in the county? That's, that's one conversation. And I think most reasonable people, most reasonable people would probably say, well, it didn't hurt. You can't look at that and say, no, that would be a horrible idea to have more, more fire and rescue full-time staff in the county. Uh, so that's one, that's one conversation that we're having. The other conversation we're having is, how would we fund something like that? Because everything comes at a price. And so what you end up doing is you end up trying to find compromises to what you want and what you're willing to get. Now, one of the things, looking at that squat list that we're doing is we're, we're remodeling some of these some of these stations. So maybe at some point we can add a crew over here part-time or something. It, it's about it's about building. So I think that, that just like I'm wanting a minor league baseball team, team here in 30 years, you don't start by calling up the Atlanta Braves and saying, hey, I think we put a play. That's not where you start. And so I think that what we have to do is say that as a goal. And just like we're doing measurable goals here, how do you measure that? Well, one of the ways I think we could effectively measure that is let's get these, these different fire stations remodeled so that if funding becomes available, we can put people that is a place to start. So I don't think we've ignored that desire on, on, on your part because I think it's a, a good goal to have. But funding it, I mean, you, you have to know that to get what you're asking for would require a very significant property tax increase. And he and I have talked, but we're aware of that. We're aware that it's not necessarily a tax increase. You've got to come up with money from somewhere within this budget to be able to hire people. Well, we will have that opportunity in a couple of weeks, and I'll I'll pay your mortgage payment if you can find money in our current budget for what you're asking for. I'll pay your mortgage payment for a year if if you can I'll find money. So this board is willing to do the hard work to dig in there to find. I mean, what would the salary? Let me back up and say this: What would the judge? What would a salary be for an entry level uh, person? Governor, 36, 37, and then you add benefits on top of that, and you're and equipment, and, and you're in the mid, and low to mid 40s. And then and, and talking with <clears throat> Chief Guy, honestly, you said you have to have what 12 people to fully stack, and he has, he has talked to me, and I've you know, you know, talked about when we want that to when we talked about it. You know, even if he was able to partially put some uh, who would be volunteers and full-time, a mixture of those two. Some may be just starting out on eight to five or something like yeah, that. Yeah, eight to five. What happens if you got a fire at six o'clock? If you got, um, if I can finish, if you've got times like that, at least that's a start. And to tell me we couldn't find Thirty-six thousand dollars in the budget, or a hundred thousand somewhere, from some area. Um, you know, perhaps this 
study Crawford was asking us to do, where we could probably outsource things, save some money, that could shift some money from one area to another. Not saying it's not, uh, not I'm not talking about outsourcing the fire department, I'm talking about outsourcing other services that would save the county money in a particular area where that could be shifted to the possibility of staffing, um, One thing getting a new remember, staff to put in the fire station. When you are uh, looking at revenue to support your fire department, it is, as we discussed this morning, a special service so all the funding for your fire protection will come from the unincorporated area. Right. So what you say I'm going to cut here on the new disc, you're getting revenue only from that unincorporated area to fund this service. That's where you're talking about funding. And is, is this, <coughs> the, uh, by adding an additional station, are you looking at trying to impact the ISO, or are you just looking at adding additional station? See, if we provide better service, can it really impact your ISO rating? You do have, you know, quicker response time, or, you know, some better in service. Order to, in order to, the only way you're going to significantly impact that I think I've told you on before. You're at a five slash nine. In order to go from nine to five, it takes X amount of dollars. Which the commissioners agree to use the insurance premium tax to do that. To go from a five lower is a significant, but larger amount of money, and your savings on your premium is less. So the more, the lower you go with your ISO rating, the more it costs and the less savings you have per insurance premium. And we will be probably sometime this year evaluated by the ISO to determine if we can sustain what we currently have. I, I am personally not uh, expecting it to go lower. I'm just hoping that we maintain what we've got. And what I want to clarify something that Richard asked me a minute ago, and I chased the rabbit and we got off the front of it. You were talking about a few weeks we'll be looking at the budget. You know, I can't answer what we can or can't do in this commission, what we're going to be able to dig into or not. We've got a whole list of constitutional officers that will be coming before us with, you know, with their needs wants as well. So I think only time will tell, you know, we'll be able to dig in there and how far we're willing to be you know, in the budget. I think if the uh, this is a touchy issue. It's, it shouldn't be because it it's, be. well, because it's two different things and that's what I keep saying. If the commission keeps its eye on this goal, okay, we would like to have X number of stations that are at least partially staffed, which what is our average response time now? Eight minutes? Nine minutes. What's our average response time? Eight. Eight. So I mean that is that is better than a, that is not as good as immediately, but it's better than fifteen minutes. So, so okay. So we are making what we've got work. So let's be reasonable and say we have a goal out here, and we're going to take as many steps as we can between now and whenever we fulfill that goal. I think what I'm trying to say is we need to take smaller steps than the two of you maybe wanted to take. Not because that's what we want to do, but because that's probably what we have to do. But what could we do? Even just take a small step of trying to hire just a couple yeah. more to put in some of these stations on a okay. part-time basis. Let's, 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 go ahead. Let's, let's focus right here what we've got right now. Let's fill out our form. Mm -hmm. um, could I ask if our overall goal could be to improve our protection in Lowndes County? Could that be our goal? And then all the components that you all have talked about, whether it's stations or firefighters or the ISO evaluation or response times, that would be a part of our specifics and what would be measurable about <coughs> increasing fire protection in Mounds County. Would that meet the needs that you all are talking about with well, regards to the fire I department? think that's a little bit, if I might, where we're, where we're seeing a little bit of difference here. I think every <coughs> commissioner here 
the answer to that is yes. We want to see fire protection improved in Lambs County. Now, my concern is, which is different, I think, than, than Mr. Page's or Mr. Marshall's, how do you go about improving it? I think you have to look at Lambs County all over and do the best job with the current system that you have in order to improve every part of Lambs County. If you go to the west side and build a fire station and put paid staff in, all you've improved is the west side. That's right. You haven't done anything yet. So, you have to look at population. I think the key on. here is is that, yes, the answer is, is that if, if we might, Mr. Page, on your goal, could, could you agree then that, I'm sorry, that was Mr. Martin. Yeah, Mr. Mark, that was you. Could you, would you agree then that the goal is to improve fire protection for the citizens of Lambton? That's, that's really what the goal is. That's what your goal is. Our goals for response times and fire protection 
are not even relevant to, to ISO at this point because that's not what we're trying they're, to do. They're relevant. The catch is, and I don't think we can make a big enough splash financially yeah. to affect it, significantly affect the ISO. Right. Right. That's not what we're trying okay. to do. And I'd also like to tell you, we're, we're, we're dealing with the minimum ISO, ISO rating because <coughs> you got higher levels of ratings, and we're not at the highest level, right? Yeah, we've got so, we've got a significant amount of equipment. Before the last time, I think it's for it's all I think it's pretty good. Considering y'all probably, sir. But you know, I think we're talking about two things too. Y'all need to build a station somewhere, but then have the other issue is do you have the ability to staff them? And, and to me, it, just a minor step would be trying to staff. Some of the ones we already have that for them I like to make this reply field for example that you can put you can house people in before we go to start building more fire stations and can't stand. Yeah. 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 Well, I guess a lot of things a lot of things part of anything we do here based on our limited knowledge of what's required would be to um, set standards, goals, whatever, based on input from the chief. Because none of us really know what's it going to take for response time, what's it going to take for ISO, what's it going to locations and all that. So I think a lot of that would have to be contingent on information from the chief. Right, which is what I said while ago. So the first you, you get your stations, you, you complete that with those spot projects. Then you make a determination, all right, where do we want to put another station? That's the only question you answer. Then you make that determination. And then you ask the question, what is, what can we afford to put in there right now? It may be that we can afford to put two people in there for four hours a day, but what can we afford to put in there? And then you just build, okay. you build, and you don't, you don't think that the world is going to hell because you're not exactly where you need to be, but you build steps to it. And I, I think that's the only way we're gonna get it done in a manner that is that is reasonable to where we are financially and what projected revenue is. You heard Tillman sit there, Harrison sit there and say, my goodness, I hope this is not a, uh, an indication of things to come with the way um, revenue is coming in. So, so I think that, that you just look at small steps along the way and then we wake up in a few years and we've got where we want to be and we haven't broken the bank or anything. Do what we can do with what we have, and then when we get a little more, we do a little more. Uh, anything else? Is that it? Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Yes, sir. We are going to go. Would it be, you know, we've seen you talk about this all day long, but um, either the chairman or uh, Joe set up a meeting with us and the chief where we can really talk about this, drill down about these needs to like you know we've all said we're really considering talk about it we need to rely upon his input and direction so it'd be good if we're going to make this go at least start number one meeting with them see what he says so that would work out something like that working in that direction all right and then next, mr rain i think you're next